castle black. Nothing's changed since the day we arrived. Fifteen years. Remember, Mors? We were so strong back then. At the time, I really believed in the mission of the Night's Watch, you know? You've changed, old brother. I never thought you would betray us. Aye, well, you've always had a knack for choosing friends. One night here, and you'd already bashed in three of our brother's skulls. I wasn't the only one there, if I remember rightly. <laughs> That's me. I never think of the consequences. All I do is give. Look at this, boys. Mors finally brought back that worm, Gorol. Well done. Some men bid against you, but I wagered you'd make it. It must have been quite a hunt. Gorol knows how to cover his tracks and isn't half bad with the sword. I've known you for 15 years, but I still had just a shred of hope that I'd give you and your damn dog the slip. I would have hated getting caught by a little shit like our friend here. Hold your tongue, deserter. That's not what your mother said so... last night. I'll teach you about respect, dog! Enough! I forbid you to touch him. You would not have had the slightest chance against him, blade in hand. <laughs> Tell me, where is Mormont? The Lord Commander is in front of the Commander's Keep with the new recruits. They've just sworn their oath. So they are finally sworn brothers of the Night's Watch. Fools. Now you can teach them a little lesson. Right, Morms? This traitor back. I knew I could count on you. I did what I had to, Lord Commander. Your modesty does you honor. Recruits, listen to me. Moors here is our best tracker. Now that you are sworn brothers of the Night's Watch, he will mold you into rangers. He has just returned from a very delicate mission, tracking down Gorals, who took the cowardly route and deserted. In the name of the Night's Watch, I thank you, Mors. I know how hard it must have been for you to hunt down a friend. I swore an oath to the Watch. If we go back on our word and our mission, then we are nothing. If only all my men spoke like that. Speaking of new brothers, I see only four of them. Where is the fifth? Someone attacked him last night. He's been looked after by Maester Eamon as we speak. One of our brothers has broken his vows in the most sordid manner. That traitor then beat the poor boy and left him in the snow more dead alive damn it i swear i'll skin the culprit alive alas we do not know if the boy will recognize his assailant or even if he is to survive too bad the brat certainly was a pretty boy soft as a virgin what a pity i never managed to corner him True to your reputation, Gorold, eh? You know me, always trying to get a laugh. Silence, traitor. Each time I pass judgment on a deserter, I feel the bitterness of failure. It is my duty, as Lord Commander of the Night's Watch, to make true brothers of you. This morning, you were strangers. Now, you have all sworn to honor our oath. Some come to us as knights, carrying out their duties, and some as criminals, forced to choose between the noose and the wall. Once you take the black, your past is dead. You must watch away your former loyalties, 
forget your family and friends. They cease to exist. Such is the strength of our oath. No wife, no children, no lands. All that matters is defending the wall and the realm. We are your only home. We are your duty. We are your new family, the only one that matters now. More than 8,000 years ago, humanity itself was nearly lost during the long night. Our predecessors then built the wall that you see behind us. Great wall, Charter. This massive wall of ice is 700 feet high and divides the continent in half. It protects the realm of the Seven Kingdoms from threats beyond the wall. Defending it is our purpose, our duty. The Night's Watch has unfailingly carried out this mission for centuries, generation after generation. Wildlings, cold, wind, and dishonor. Those are your enemies, even in the midst of a summer such as this one. We have all taken our vows before the gods, whichever gods they are. If you betray your brothers, if you break this sacred oath. Throughout the seven kingdoms of Westeros, you will be met with one punishment. Death. Watch closely, you young whelps. May this serve as a lesson to you. Prepare yourself for your final journey, Gorold, my friend. That's all I expect. Huh. Gorold embedded. was a brother of the Night's Watch for almost 15 years. But that bears no relevance. He will be executed for desertion. Beyond our mission, we no longer exist. Any last words, deserter? After all my years spent here, I've forgotten what warmth is. The cold has stolen the very memory. Go ahead and smile at the sight of me, the wretched deserter. But you may do the same one day. You won't be able to take it any longer, and you'll do anything just to live again. I tried my luck, and I failed. Legend. Come on, Moors. And do it well. Goodbye, old brother. Goodbye, old friend. I'll see you on the other side. <laughs> you will live and you will die in the shadow of the wall. There is no other way. Welcome to the Night's Watch. Introduction? Moors. Take Ronit, Poddy, Siltigar, and Patrick and put together a patrol. Make sure they smell a little less like summer before winter comes. Right. Listen. Since I need to teach you to survive at the wall, let's see what you're worth with a blade in your hand. Gather in the exercise yard. Okay, this is the end of part two. Yeah, part three. Not very soon.